What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now today we've got living on $1 Indian street food for 24 hours. Now this is by, what's his name, like something Bobby or Bobby Connor or Connor Bobby or something like that. I don't know. The original link's always in the description. Um, but I've done a video like this where I reacted to, I can't remember the guy's name. He does those like big... Um, food reviews and stuff like that best food review channel or something something bullshit whatever his channel name is and he tried to spend one hundred dollars in a, in 24 hours on indian street food he only spent about eight dollars and he bought like 20 meals so one dollar as as little as that might sound to maybe me who's not from india or any any other foreigner that's actually <laughs> that can get you quite far in india one dollar worth of food but hey if you guys are new, subscribe. Let's check it out. How's the taste for you? I have no words to explain. Whoa, look at the eyes. Your eyes just did it. Yeah. You just fuck? had this massive eye flick. You were just like, oh. <laughs> okay. They're in Mumbai. Nice. The one dollar street food challenge. Let's go. Hello everybody and hey, welcome mate. back to Mumbai, India. You know, over the course of the last week or so, I've been exploring different cities and towns across India. And each town and city that I've been in, I've pretty much had a friend or YouTuber show me around. And this has basically been my almost like jumpstart into the Indian culture. They've shown me their favorite places, their favorite food, basically how they spend their daily lives. However, okay. as you can see around me, I have no local or bow, bow. person showing me the best places today. And seeing that I've only been in Mumbai Blah. for one day, I don't know this city at all. So how I'm gonna start off this adventure today is first by going to a place that I've walked by a few times when just walking the streets of Mumbai. And then after that, just relying on locals to guide me through the best street food here. Yeah. Uh, the, uh... Bro, just quickly, I know that, I know that people in India, when like most people have like really good mustaches, like, cause I know that's like a, it's a thing to show you're like a really manly, isn't it? Or it's like a real man sort of thing. And like, just, you know, you got to have a good mustache, but damn, there was a, look at like some of these guys just have some, I inspire to have a mustache like them. Seriously. Yeah. Butter, pop, butter. Pop. Butter, butter, butter. Yeah. So much butter. <laughs> Yeah, the bread, the bread and the butter. Yeah. Oh, is he having a... Thank you. Oh my right. god. The... Just looking right. around me, this is an absolutely crazy environment. You have one side the food being made, the other side a massive line. And of course, the other side people watching me vlog here. <laughs> but anyway, the food that I went with was the famous pav bhaji. This is basically a gravy substance made from potatoes, tomatoes, Ooh! spices, and of course, just topped with a massive amount of butter. And on the side here, we have a butterized pow. So anyway, you can say that this is quite a heavy meal. You think I'll like it? Bro, the fact that only cost him 94 cents. 94. Not even $1. Yeah. Bro, that bread, that bread roll, Okay, English. That bread roll, let alone in Australia, would cost a dollar. Just that bread would cost a dollar. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it stuns me every time that I watch any of these food videos in India. Oh my lord. That's amazing, guys. That when you bite into that, the first thing that hits the back of your mouth is the tomatoes. But then after that, it's just the thickness and richness of that butter. Like, the only way I can describe this is it's the absolute heaviest dish that you've ever eaten with a tomato and potato. Holy crap. This is... What a way to start. Oh my god. Where should I go next? Bro. What's the best street food for you guys? It has to be under 70 rupees. It is freaking hot out here, man. They gave me these towels for my hands. I'm using it for my sweat. So the first people that I asked, I was a tiny bit disappointed in their response. Taj Hotel. Huh? Taj Hotel. Taj Hotel Marine Drive. They made the food, Shamiana. Below 70 rupees. Below 70 rupees? Yes. <laughs> this, this is the challenge. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is just go up to a random local and see if they have an idea for me. So I just ate here. I ate the uh, pav bhaji. Okay. Um, and I'm on a challenge today where I eat street food 
for 70 rupee or lower? The best street food. We might go for what about? Ah, what about? I find some places here to eat. Okay. I, yeah. Typically, I don't know any name of here. Okay. You can just. <laughs> Do you guys see this guy? He's got his phone out and he's like touch. He, he's got the camera on his face and he's like doing his hair so he so he looks good for the camera. Oh, look at this guy! Places. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Yeah, thank Bye. you so much. All right, have a good day, guys. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, so although I have heard of a Wadabout before, I don't exactly know what it is, so I'm just going to wander around a little bit and Bro, see what we can find. Are these guys following him? Oh my gosh, there's a Wadabout. One Wadabout. Thank you. Wadabout. 20 rupee, okay. They're like okay, so 20 cents? This is a sandwich with a pow bun that's topped with a red and green sauce mm. and, of course, the famous fried potato. Now, I'm not exactly sure what is in this 100% because I have never had one in India but I'm just gonna bite in see how it tastes and then see the things inside holy crap that is absolutely wonderful you know before right. biting in I thought it was gonna be right. that was okay I need to stop doing these food videos man I need to eat and then watch them because I I, I always do it I like I always film these sort of food videos early in the goddamn morning it's like 9 a.m. here, 9.30 a.m. as I'm recording. And I haven't eaten, obviously. And fuck, these videos always make me so hungry. But it turned out that with the potato, it just like we'll all mushed it. together. Guys, making for a complete bite ah! of that pow, but also the sauce and the potato. This thing is absolutely special. I've never had a sandwich that literally just like compresses down all together. Thank you so much. This was oh, I'm so hungry. I for you, actually. Um... If you have to eat one street food, where would you eat in India? You understand? What do you want? Um, I'm looking <laughs> for the best street food. Best? Street food. Huh? How did it? How did it? Where you have been? Before this, where you have been? Just over there. There? Yeah, and here. That's okay, it. This is the two things you had. Two things I had, yeah. So I'll tell you one thing. You go from straight from here. Okay. There is a way mm -hmm. in the Maidan. Okay. Garden way. A way in the middle, yeah. Maidan. Yeah. From there, you take a right. Okay. There will be a cloth store, this land, fashion street. Okay. All cloth store is there. Okay. Behind that, there is a cow gully. Lots of variety. Street ah, food. Okay. He's ah, going you're there. going there? Ah, yeah, ah he'll okay, okay. He'll guide you. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. You go. Okay, cool. I follow you. So it started off with a Wadapav, has turned into me following these guys to the best next place. What are your names? My name Manish. is Manish. Manish. And your name? Susan. Susan. Manesh and Suzanne. Suzanne. All right, we got Manesh and Suzanne. Oh, oh, so much. Are they playing cricket? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it. Okay. Yes, sir. Right. Oh my gosh, so nice. They weren't even going here and they just brought me here. Oh, Man, good guys. Holy gosh. crap. When you look around, this market is like four times as big as the one I was just Damn, at. Damn, that's busy. places here obviously but kind of my strategy when i don't know a street food or i don't know a place is just to go to the place that has the biggest line it means at least a group of people think it's the best yeah true okay i think i found my place this place looks like it's absolutely popping here what's the best thing to get here i think you should try Puri Vaju. 35 what? rupees. Puri what is it? Puri Vaju. Can I? Yes, yes, please. Yes. So nice. I don't know what I'm going to get, but I know that it's 35 rupees. For me? Ah. ah. This is uh, 35 rupees? 35. 35. 50 cents. Crap, this is a massive plate for 35 rupees. Hey, that was good. Tomato and potato. Potato. Chole. And of course. Oh, chole. Famous puri. Now, I was not expecting to have this big of a plate of food for 35 rupees. So let's just dive into this. This is like a tomato sauce here. Everything that I have. I love all the people that are around him. Just, just, they just love it. It's so good. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> I don't think people are used to people bringing cameras here. It's one of my favorites, the just solely potato. Whoa, this man just had an orgasm. What the fuck was that? It sound weird, but it makes the food almost taste like home. And although these people here are not my family, there is a sort of connection when you eat next to somebody <laughs> where everybody's just like crunched all together. Just to show you guys where my seating setup was here. These are the chefs right here. Thank you so much. The food was... Bro, that so man has the greatest mustache of all time. So incredible. And I am just sweating like a store. Spicy food combined with the Indian heat makes for just sinuses like... 
Yep, you're gonna be sweating balls. Santo? Santo, Bobby. Sanju? Did he say Sanju? From United States. I'm happy that you came up to me actually because I have a question for you. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. I'm on a journey today where I'm eating street food for 70 rupee or lower. There's a small juice scent. Okay. Small juice scent. You will get like fruit juices over there. That's awesome. Okay. I would suggest you to try the mango juice over there. The mango juice. Okay, cool. Dude, so nice. Thank you so much, man. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. You are guest to a, a guest to India. Oh, you man. are guest to us. Actually, in India, we say. I, I love this guy. This is this is the man. That is some of the no, bro. That that is the stuff that warms my heart. These two guys, this guy especially. What a what a legend. Atiti Devo Bhava. Atiti Devo Bhava. It's like. Guests are got to us. Wait, is this the place? Yeah, yeah, this is wow, the place. Wow, this is such a tiny place. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. So you will get yeah, like kiwi, yeah. Uh, banana, chiku. Okay. Chiku is like an Indian fruit. Okay. You should definitely try it. Alright, yeah. yeah, you tell me what to get here. Here is guys. Oh, yeah. Is that mango? Incredible. Oh, it's so fresh. Like when you drink this, you taste just like a layer of this mango and the milk just like surrounding your mouth and tongue. And how much right. does this cost here? 25 rupees. Just 25, 25 rupees. rupees. Yeah. Wow. Not Man, bad. In India, I would be coming here every single day. Yeah, for real. And my sweat with each sip is just going away, going away, going away. Best of luck. Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Best yeah. of luck. Thank you so much for showing see me around. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. yeah, see you in the future. Great talk, okay. guys. Bye, All right, bye, see bye, you guys. Bye. bye. Oh, oh, man. Just got done exploring with Santo and his friend. And, man, I am freaking tired, man. I'm going to take a little bit of break and woo. Oh, gotta get through these cars. Buddy almost just got hit by a car. And then get right back at it. Two hours later. Wow, so beautiful. Okay, guys, it has been about two hours or so. And he's picked up a female. It only took this man two hours to get himself a woman. Learn from this guy. But anyway, in that break, I met up with my friend Vanisha. And you're gonna show me around to yes, some places, Yes, I'm going right? to take him to some of the best places and probably not some of the, like one of the best. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I think I screwed up there. Huh? I think I screwed up Oh, okay, you want, let's do it again. You take two, okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> Venetia is a little bit nervous to be on camera. So I'm actually going to take him to one of the most famous places in Bombay. Yeah. And one of we are going to have one of the special dish, which mm. is called as ice cream sandwich. So Ooh! I'm definitely going with pan because it's the most Indian. I've never heard of pan anywhere I else. I didn't like pan. You don't like pan? No. Okay. You like that? This is your pan, which I don't want to have. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Manisha is not a I fan not a pan of pan. Even though she's from the pan capital of the world, the pan capital. The pan, the <laughs> pan capital. Of I, I'm getting like a like kind of like accent. <laughs> like, capital. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is what India does to you. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, I swear sometimes I'll be watching all these videos in India and sometimes during the day I'll be talking like I'll have an Indian accent or something. Gapa Crazy. Bhanisha, what did you get? I got mango because uh, this is the peak season. Mm -hmm. and, I guess uh, that happens anywhere fresh, you go. And nothing can be fresh. And as you said before, I went with the pan, which is a famous leaf of India. A lot of times people eat the pan leaf with it either being sweet or putting tobacco in it. However, tobacco? What the f this one is obviously sweet, and so... It's good for your digestion. Yeah, which is good for today's <laughs> exactly. video. Cheers, not putting pan on yours. Okay, let's dive in. It's such a cool feeling. You have the refreshing pan that makes that air conditioning this, but usually in pan, it's not served with ice cream. So <laughs> with it, it's a total air conditioning. How's the taste for you? It is incredible. I have no words to explain it because your probably. eyes just didn't adjust. <laughs> this massive eye flick, no. you're just like, oh. I mean, but we have to start eating because just take a look at how much it's dripping. It's hot. Eat in it. India, man. <laughs> anyway, guys, today was filled with just experiencing the Indian culture as a whole. Not only eating the food, but meeting locals, seeing their places, and 
actually meeting a lot of new people. Actually, Venetia here, we're, we're not, well, now we're friends, but. Yeah, now we are. <laughs> but we met last night in a Starbucks when I was editing, and she was actually editing. I'm but anyway, Venetia also has a channel. What's your channel name? My channel is Verily Vagabonding. Honestly, guys, go check out her channel. She's freaking awesome. She stayed with local families all around India, and she's made a bunch of travel vlogs on places that are unexplored places in India. So go check her out. Hey! And I don't know. I'm just, I'm so grateful for today. Thank you for showing me this place. Oh, yeah. oh, this man. Take fucking lessons from this man right here. He is pulling. He is doing what he pleases. That is now his, that's his woman. He, he, yeah. And just thank you to everybody else that showed me around today. You're awesome. I love India. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys next. Back. Oh. <laughs> Hey, that's gonna cap it off. I might have to check out her channel. Yeah, if she has any good videos, I'll go through it. See if there's any of them worth reacting to. But hey, that is gonna cap it off, guys. Living off $1 Indian street food for 24 hours. Crazy to think that none of that what he just ate was over $1. Like 70 rupees equals a dollar, I believe. So that is crazy to think that none of them were over 70 rupees. Because I tell you what, any of those meals that he just ate are costing at least seven to eight dollars plus in Australia. It is insane how much more the currency is over here compared to India. It, I think it's more how nice India is compared to fucking Australia. It's it's just bullshit, if I'm gonna be honest. It's ridiculous. But I, that is gonna cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.